There we go. Okay, we're back live. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I don't know what's been going on with Twitch lately. Again, I thought it was XSplit for the longest time, but supposedly a lot of other streamers have been having the same issue where they just get abruptly disconnected, and it's because the, the server they choose to stream to doesn't want to work for whatever reason. So, you didn't miss much, but the Munos did come and kip, pick off a couple probes and start chipping away at these Blink Stalkers, but uh, despite the mobility of the Blink Stalkers, he just doesn't have the numbers to really clean this up outright. Oh, well, that's because Marksman's army is going across the map to do a counterattack. This is also going to be hard pressed to do a lot of damage. Let's not forget there's lurkers mixed in with this. There's a spine crawler wall, and that's a lot of zergling to hold them at bay. Uh, but these mutilists have got to be careful. They're all getting really low. None of them have, not a lot have really died so far. Only two have gone down, but they're all so low. Uh. These gateways about to be depowered. Ugh, that's painful. That is so brutal for RCP. I mean, he really did he think that he. I really think I? he knew mutas were on the way, but maybe expecting only like. He's he can't. He doesn't have enough them. money to build more than one pylon at a time, and he doesn't have the units yeah. to deal with Why this. Why would you? More okay. mutal is coming. You know what? This is. I'm surprised it's a star, but it's just, it's just like StarCraft 2. <laughs> I thought RCP would be a lot more. Um, Prepared. Uh, Handless situation, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't. So the Zedlots well, don't even do anything. They get, like, challenged by the ground army. If we could be honest, though, the army that he had, I mean, it was only just shy of heavy enough to really start fitting this off. Let's not forget all these mutalists were kind of in the red, in the yellow. With four blink stalkers, maybe if you had 12 type thing, I, regardless, one thing you don't expect to see is these gateways get depowered the way they do. This doesn't happen in Starbo. This happens in Starcraft all the time, but this rarely happens in Starbo. So, I mean, he's just completely annihilated production. 100%. You know what it makes, me, makes me wonder, right? Because if you depower these gateways, you have to. it's, it's like depowering a, a barracks in Starcraft 2. You gotta wait for like them to still pop out, which can take a long, long time. In StarCraft 2, a lot of times you just have warp gate. Like, if you get just, like, five seconds of it being powered by one pylon, that's a whole warp in that you get. That's true, yeah, you don't have to rely on the actual build of the, uh... Yeah, but I'm wondering, like, when a uh, gateway is depowered in StarCraft 2, GG, by the way, that was kind of the way it was going. You kind of <laughs> knew it was heading that way. <laughs> yeah, but in StarCraft 2, if it's depowered, does that stop the cooldown of the warp gate as well? I never really thought about it. I'm sure there's a Protoss player out there who could answer that for us, but uh, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, game number one will go to the Red Bandit, and hopefully the new Twitch server I've chosen to stream to won't give us any guff for the rest of the day. Uh, but 